What's the deal, folks? It's your boy, Mark Gray. That's 50 Shades for those of y'all around the way. Big ups to my folks in the DMV. And that's where we'll start right now first, because I don't want everybody from the card-carrying member of Wahoo fandom all of a sudden. You know, those of you who never knew immortal names like Jeff Jones before he became a coach, Lee Raker, Bobby Stokes, Othell Wilson, or more contemporarily, Corey Williams and Junior Burrow. It's your time to shine. In a sign that the apocalypse truly has come to sports, I can now actually say that I lived through a lifetime where both the Cubs and the Red Sox won the World Series. Heck, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. The Cardinals actually got there. All that's left to happen is for the Browns and the Lions to meet, and then I can check on up out of here. Now that Virginia has crossed over into the land of national champions, going from that dubious place where they were the only number one seed in the history of college basketball to lose to a number 16 and to win it all the next year, says a lot about the fortitude of Tony Bennett and the resilience not resiliency, folks. Resilience. I get sick and tired of hearing resiliency, but I digress. It puts them in a place to be revered forever, and it, those young men will always have the triumph over tragedy story in their lives to carry them. And UVA basketball has, in fact, arrived, y'all. I mean, you can put all the Ralph Saps and stuff behind you in the final four of Olden Polonese and the gang uh, into a basket and just come to the realization that they can recruit Tidewater, they can recruit the DMV. Uh, you've got a guy on the sidelines who dresses about as well as Jay Wright does in Philadelphia with Villanova. Both of, both of them got that uh, central casting look about them. Both of them are great recruiters, masterful game planners, tremendous tacticians. They make adjustments. They not going anywhere right now. And those are cold, hard facts that those of us who would carry ourselves as somewhat of Marilyn Terrapin apologists, we have to be worried about them right now. So big ups to Wahoo Nation. You won it. I didn't think you could do it, but you did it. Now you get yours. And – you see, I'm wearing purple today, and my heart is broken. Why? My favorite basketball player of all time, Irvin Magic Johnson, quit on the Lakers. Ain't no other two ways to look at it. He quit on the Lakers, saying that he wanted to go back and be happy again, and he had a good life. He bolted after dealing with backstabbing. These are all of his words. Let's let's just peel the layers of the onions of this excuse. First off, backstabbing. Dude, you got a coach fired back in the day in Paul Westhead after he took you to your first NBA title. Backstabbing match? Come on, dog. I mean, you've never run from a challenge in your life. You beat AIDS, and you're going to run from this because of backstabbing? Affecting people's livelihoods? For real? Come on, dude. Who are you trying to convince? Us, yourself, or Jeannie, whom you love as a sister, but you quit on her too. That brings us to the whole climate of Laker Nation. You know, Magic was the point guard during the most glorious times in the franchise's history. You can't think Showtime without thinking about Magic, and now... He doesn't want to be a part of the rebuild process? Come on, man. And then, on top of all that, you do it in such a way that it takes shine away from both D-Wade and Dirk Nowitzki, who were playing their final games in their home buildings in Miami and Dallas the night before. The bottom line is the Lakers, yes, they are a mess. And the NBA is not anywhere near as good as it can be when Magic isn't a part of the mix. The Lakers need to be fixed, and Magic should have stuck around and been a part of the process because coming out during the middle of the season, he didn't help make matters any better. He made them worse. And to bolt like that, 
only makes him look bad, too. Sorry, folks. That's how we dish it out when we give it to you straight, no chaser. It's your boy, Mark Gray.